Hello all, my name is Nick from Rational Gamers and we're doing a bit of, uh, what's it called, Slime Rancher, that's what it's called. <laughs> I have been playing this game at Marty's when I was uh, visiting for the weekend and I love it. So, hello, so I kind of know what I'm doing, but also this will be uh, the first in the Rational Gamers Early Acts this week. Basically, I'll be playing this and Subnautica and putting up an episode of each every day so you can decide whether you like it or not. Uh, I chose this and Subnautica because these are the two that I like the look of the most. I mean, even before I played at Amati's, I uh, loved the look of this game. And it's just... It's just wonderful. I had so much fun on Sunday playing this. Hello! I don't want a hen hen, I want a stony hen because they're more useful, I find. Okay, so basically the premise is you uh, are a person who's set off across the universe to a distant planet to wrangle slimes and try and make as much money as they can. Hello? That's it. <laughs> You try and get slimes, and then the slimes will produce these things called plorts, which I have uh, two of at the moment, pink plorts. Pink uh, slimes and pink plorts are by far the most common, and by extension are the least uh, profitable. Now you have to make sure you get... Hello. You have to make sure you get... Uh, oh, I can't get them. You can only carry four kinds of... You can only carry four kinds of... ...thing at any one time. You ate my fruit, you git. <sighs> and you will need to... Um, I, I always check what I'm doing. And you need to feed your slimes that you capture. Otherwise, they'll get sick and they'll look really weird. I'm not sure whether they'll die or not. When I was playing this at Marty's, I, <laughs> I left some giant slimes a bit too long and they got all bloody faced and really sad and it was quite creepy actually. Hi guys. Right, at the moment I'm looking, I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for. I should be looking for more kind of complex slimes but I'd just take these pink ones because, you know, they can just give me normal plorts. The hen hen isn't a slime, as with the stony hen, which we'll find a bit later. Uh, but they are useful because you feed them to other bigger slimes. <laughs> which are, you can't wrangle, but just kind of uh, hang around in the environment and give you some random stuff. Now you might notice this gun I've got here is kind of, kind of interesting. It basically sucks things up and poops them out again. <laughs> so that's a thing. Come on, eat your food. You can have some pogo for it as well. Yes, now give me all your plots. Plot me. Plot me, you wonderful, wonderful things. Plot me. Okay, now I have to spit all you guys out again. You can get things to automatically suck up all these plorts. Shit. Um, but once you've got some plorts, you can firm in here. This is where you sell. Seven! That's a really crap price! Oh, at the weekend I was getting eleven! That sucks ass. Oh. This is nice to play with a keyboard and mouse though, because I was playing it on the Steam controller, and I don't particularly like, um... First person games on the Steam controller. It's nothing against it, it's perfectly functional. I just, uh, I prefer the good old keyboard and mouse. Don't you eat them. I need them. I need all the food. I don't need you. I said I don't need you. <laughs> you can throw them around and they're still happy as Larry. Look at him, look at his little smile. Oh. Give me applause. I need plots to make money so I can 
get other stuff and make more plots and build r cages, whatever they're called, enclosures. Right, now the further you go into the world, and this obviously is an early access game. Hello, these are stony guys. These are not very nice. I mean, they won't deliberately try and kill you, but they will kill you none yeah, nonetheless. Those are rock plorts. They are worth more than your general pink ones, but in order to farm them, you need to farm these rock slimes, and that's just a bitch and a half. It's difficult to say the very least. Ah, a chickadoo! A chickadoo! What a chickadoo! Don't want a hen hen! What a chickadoo! Sorry, I took your kids. Social services. <laughs> Because if I take them and put them in a little pen, then I can uh, grow them up into hen hens. Which is basically one of them. I can, of course, uh, well, I can't with him. But with bigger ones, I can just suck them up. Come here, you. I'm trying to prove a point. I just suck them up and hold them on oh, my thing. <laughs> and of course, I can fire them into the sun. I wasn't exactly the sun, but you get the idea. Hi guys, I'm off, running away. Chickadoos! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Haha, -ha, four chickadoos! Now... Oh, I thought the music had changed. There's a cat one! There's a cat one! Yeah, you can get different kinds, and there are actually tabby slimes, which I just find amazing. They're not proper ones, they're crossed with pink slimes, which... Make them bigger, and when you feed them, they kind of poop out a pink plot and a tabby plot. Hello, guys. See, there's some real tabbies. Should really. Ah, oh, damn it. Come here. You're coming with me. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Damn it, I should come back here and get some tabby plots because they are worth a whole lot more. There's some stony hands. Uh, yeah, there's a lot here. Damn. I need more. Hey, see what I mean? Those guys are ass hats. Sorry. Where did you go? There we go. More chickadoos. And if you smash these crates. Not like that. Like this! You get magic stuff. A beetroot? Well, something. Heartbeat. Excellent. Now, around here. Here's Mr. Giant Tabby. You can feed him. His favorite food is stony hens. And. That doesn't look good. And if you. Oh, cool. And if I haven't got any space to pick them up, I should really head back to the ranch. And if you feed him enough stony hens, then he will do something. There is a locked door somewhere over there. And we suspect if you feed him enough uh, stony hens, he will drop a key. Also, this is a telepath pot pad, so at the very least, if he doesn't drop a key, he will give us access to uh, that teleport pad, which will make it faster for me to get out of here. Instead of just legging it. Now, it seems all nice and happy and, you know, the only thing you have to worry about is these uh, stony guys. Well, there are day and night cycles. And, although sometimes, ugh, sometimes in the day, but mostly at night I found, you get things called TARS come out. Now I can go down there as well. Wah, well, shit, okay, I'm going down there. Okay, I'm... Crap. I, I done messed up. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I didn't really want to come down here. See, there's another guy with a... He's not on the teleport pad, but he still wants feeding. Yeah, get these things called TARS come out. And they're kind of dicks, because they will kill every slime they find. Well, they'll find... They'll, they'll try and kill slimes. They'll try and kill you. Hello? Am I safe here? Head, head. 
Got any chicks? No. Okay. No. Okay. You do have chicks. Tickadoo. Yeah, and they will try to kill everything, including yourself. So you want to keep away from them. You'll know them when you see them. They're big and ugly and grey and kind of colourful as well. Okay, so here we are back in my wonderful, wonderful place. And don't think that you're safe from the Tars here. Be Hello? You're a Roostro. You can feed them to people as well. Yeah, I don't think you're safe from the Tars here because uh, we had a Tar invasion and it killed everything. A happy slime makes for a happy ranch out here. Something to keep in your um, slimes. A garden to grow food, which is helpful. means you don't have to go foraging. A coop, where you can keep your chickadoos and everything. A silo. Don't know what that does, but I assume it keeps stuff. And uh, what are you going to do with this? Okay. I hear there's um, water slimes as well, so I just want to coop at the moment because I need to dump these chickadoos just just kind of blast them over there you go it's okay you leave them and they will grow into um, well they will grow into hen hens and you can do whatever with them give me more money give me more money give me give me give me more money okay cool now it's night time so I shouldn't uh, oh yeah you can open them up eventually but haven't quite got to that point yet. Uh, oh yeah, you've got these things as well. Uh, these slimes. But they only come out at night, so you need a solar shield on your corrals if you want to try and catch them. I don't like this. I think the tars are going to come out, but I want to get some tabbies. Don't eat me! You're too big to catch. Ugh. He's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's not as bad as going out at night on like Minecraft or something, but you're still at more of a risk. Where'd all the tabbies go? Damn it! God damn. Like I'm waiting till the morning then. So this is my little house where I can go in and I can sleep for the night. cock a doodle -doo indeed. When things will uh, respawn and uh, slimes become available again, hopefully some more food will come out. So uh, yeah, those are still out but as soon as the sun gets up a bit then they'll disappear. They'll just kind of pop out of existence. There we go. Need some of them. Don't need one of them. Wouldn't mind some of them. See, uh, any opportunity you have to get food, get food. Because you don't know when it's coming back. Oh, hello. Just jumping out of ground. I'm on a mission. Need tabbies. Don't know where I'm going. You can only carry 20... Uh, yeah. 20 of each um, type <laughs> slime or otherwise at any one time so it's not like I can fill up two uh, blocks with like, all tabbies there we go tabby slime well that was unhelpful sometimes what's good to do is to capture like a few tabby slimes and then feed them up and then just stick them all in with a bunch of pink slimes that way you will get uh, the tabby slimes dropping tabby plots and then the pink slimes will eat the tabby plots and the <laughs> tabbies uh, sorry the pink slimes will turn into what are they called? Uh, a pink tabby, not that. Pink tabby Largo, I think it's called. Largo, whatever. And you... Well, they, they'll basically drop tabby slimes and pink plots. But they will also take up much more space. 
So I'm going to try not to do that. Hey, you little sod. Come here. Five of them now. I just have to kind of try and build up my collection. Okay, so these guys are escaping. Why are you escaping? Don't escape, you little sod. God damn it. I don't even know what to do with these guys because I think Corral is... Yep, the Corral's more than I can afford. Fantastic. That means what I need to do is chuck these chickadoos in the coop. I uh, see they've turned into hen hens now, so... They'll turn into something later. And, ah, oh, these little bastards. If you leave them in, they will try and climb on one another in order to escape. You can see, you can see the little sods doing it now. Okay, okay, give me your plorts. Might have to feed some of you. So I can make enough money to do something about you. To build a higher fence, maybe? How much is a higher fence? 350. Absolutely brilliant. I need 150. That's never going to happen. Here, have some pogo fruits. With the buggers. So we have them all. Eat to your heart's content. Drop me all the plots. Now, just suck everything up. <laughs> Okay. Guys, come back. You have to go back in your house. No, 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 no. Don't do that. I'm not sure whether you can eat the hen hens, but the big ones damn well can. Okay. You come here. Okay, that's all the ones I can find at the moment. I know there's too many of them in here. Yeah, what do I care? Boom! Six? The bloody rock plots are actually worth more than the tabby ones now. Son of a goit. Crap now. Well, okay. Well, I'm going to build another corral. Ah. No, I didn't want to do that. Thank you. For an early access game, this is unparalleled. This is brilliant. Eat. Your food. You. I knew there was one left. Get in your house. Stop trying to escape. Please stop trying to escape. Are you going to eat? Diet meat. Oh. My. God. I'm going to have to turn you into a... No. Get in there. I have to turn you into those because you eat everything now. So, yeah, I was going to have to do something I didn't want to do. Uh, feed more of these so I can get the plorts. Actually, if that's the case, then come here. You can just go in there. And actually, you can go in there. Come here. <laughs> there you go. So now if I feed these guys, now that they're big and ugly... <laughs> but they can eat everything. They will drop. Ta da! Tabby plots and normal pig plots. So go wild. Go. Uh, no, not that wild. Get in your pen. You too. God. Is this is what it's like being a wrangler, a slime rancher, even if such a thing would exist. <laughs> How did I get over there? How did you get up there? See, look what they're doing. You little sods. Alright, there is another way to keep these guys under control, but it costs the same amount as the bloody high walls. I would get a music box to keep them calm. I don't think these guys are going to stay calm somehow. Okay, tell you what, Sammy, you can go in there. Stop it. Stop me, you can go... How high? Oh, yeah, you're a bloody cat, aren't you? Of course you can jump high. Get in there. And now let me out. Okay, so if I put some pink slimes in there... You pink slimes will turn into... 
tabby slimes if I do this and feed a tabby slime. Theoretically. Behave while I go and get some more. Yeah, they're not going to behave. <sighs> go and get some more plots. Okay, so I've got enough money for get me high walls on one of these things anyway. You stay there. Maybe I, you seem to be causing the most trouble. Okay, so now you got high walls. You can't jump out, you little gits. And I've got lots of food. Lovely, lovely food. Oh, you can escape your sods. Come on. Christ. Maybe, maybe, you will just go in there, yeah? Yeah, okay. So long as we're all on the same page here. You as well, come on. Get in my sucky machine. That sounds wrong. <laughs> right, so if I just fire some of these at these guys. They will drop some tabby plots, and then more of these will turn into tabbies, so when I get more food, they will all eat more, and turn into tabbies, and give me more. It's all good. Circle of life. So as you can see now, I've got a barrel full of tabby slime things. Pink tabby largos. Largos, whatever. But there are still a few little guys in the middle. But as we add more food to them, they'll, you know, they'll go away. So... Ah. Uh, there's a problem with collecting all the things without a auto-collector. And you can get an auto-collector, but I don't know how much that is. It is... Plot Collector. Plot Collector. 500! Oh, I don't have remotely near that enough for that. Ah, what are you doing? So this is the basics of what you'll need to be a successful slime rancher. Tomorrow, I think we'll try and get a... Uh, I don't know if these guys need a roof. But we'll try and get some of those uh, flying glowing things. The phosphorus fours things. I don't know what they're called. Uh, they're going to try and escape eventually, aren't they? And those require a solar shield on the pen because they disappear in the sunlight, but if you put a solar shield on them, then they'll be fine. Genuinely, the, the, yeah, genuinely though, this is one of the uh, most fun uh, games with such a simple concept I have uh, played for a very long time. So, yeah, those are the first impressions of this game. Uh, even though I played it over the weekend, <laughs> I had a lot of fun, but this is about as far as I got at the weekend. So, we're into unknown territory tomorrow. So, don't forget to tune back in tomorrow where I will continue playing uh, Slime Rancher and also for the rest of the week. And don't forget to check out my playthrough of Subnautica as well because it is Rational Gamers Week of Early Access. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and all that lovely jazz. And there's nothing else to say but to see you tomorrow. Bye!